Hi. Now what we've got here is an example based around Newton Raphson's procedure. We're given that f of x equals 2x to the power half plus x to the power minus a half minus 5, where x is greater than 0. And we're asked to find f dash x or f prime x, the first differential of f of x with respect to x. And then goes on to say the equation f of x equals 0 has a root alpha in the interval from 4.5 to 5.5. And using first approximation x0 here as equal to 5, we've got to find that approximation to alpha and apply the newton raphson procedure once to f of x to find a second approximation to alpha, giving your answer to three significant figures. So if you'd like to uh, just try this, and uh, I'll give you just a moment to pause the video, do come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So let's just see how we do it. Well, first of all, if we've got to find the first differential of f of x with respect to x, then f dash x is going to equal, well, 2 times a half is 1, and then you've got x to the power minus a half if we reduce the power by 1. And then for the next one, we're going to get minus a half x to the power minus 3 over 2, and differential constant is 0. So there's f dash x. Now, to work out our approximation to our root alpha by using the newton raphson procedure, you should be familiar with this. It's normally given in formula books, but here's the formula anyway. That is that the next approximation is given by xn plus 1. It's equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn. So if we start with x0 equaling 5, then we can get x1 by using the newton raphsons procedure, it's going to be equal to x0 minus f of x0 over f dash of x0. And we know x0 is 5, so all I've got to do is just substitute this into the formula. And we can do it on the calculator here. There's a quick way of doing these because Quite often we're asked to do, give several approximations, so it is much quicker to do it this way on your calculator. We take our first approximation, in this case 5, just enter 5 into your calculator and then just press equals. And this is stored under the answer key here. So to get the next approximation, all we do is type in answer here. So that's answer, that's essentially 5 at the moment. Then minus, let's set up a fraction, and we've got to enter f of x n. And f of x n, well, we just type it in as this, 2 answer to the power half plus answer to the minus a half minus 5. So we do 2 times answer to the power a half, so press the power button there, and put 0.5 and then we've got plus the answer to the power minus a half or minus 0.5 so we'll go to the power minus 0.5 and then we've got minus 5 so that's minus 5 now we come down onto the denominator and we enter in f dash of essentially xn, xn being our answer. So we've got the answer then to the power minus a half, so that's minus 0 0.5, and then we've got minus a half, I'll type that in as minus 0 0.5, and then answer to the power minus 3 over 2, minus 1.5, minus 1.5. And uh, we should be able to press equals, 
and it will give us our next approximation coming out at 5.200 and so on. So what we've got here then if we can just enter it in is 5.2003 and so on. And we've got to give our answer to three significant figures and to three significant figures this is 5.20 to 3 SF. Okay so that's our approximation to alpha. Now it's worthwhile pointing out that if you wanted x2 all we've got to do is just press equals again and we've got x2, the third approximation. Press this again and you've got x3, the fourth approximation and so on. Just by pressing the equals it's very quick to get the next approximation. So I do believe that this method of entering any sequence like this into your calculator is essential to know. So I hope that's given you some idea anyway on questions like this. All right.